Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today I want to go over some of the image effects that come with Unity 3 Beta 2. So first off, let's select my main camera. Now the train tutorial, or the train demo, I had uh, two of them set, the sun shafts and the, the vignetting. So let's just go over the sun shaft first. Uh, the, first you'll want your sun transform. Now this is an item you'll want to be placed in the scene about where your sun is. This is where the shafts are going to be sent from. So if you had it down quite a bit lower in your scene, your shafts would come from well, where basically you have to place it where your sun is. Or at least where you want your sun to be. Or where your shafts should be cast from. Uh, next is the color you want to be sent from the sunbeams. And that's just a standard color pick picker. Blur sampling offset. We just slide this around. You notice in the the uh, game view, you can see it getting a little blurrier or crisper, depending what you want. Blur iteration, pretty much same thing. You can go in steps. Uh, intensity, how bright you want your sun and sunbeams to be. You can actually make them quite blinding. that back to its default. Sky Alpha Mask. I'm not really sure. I've never noticed. Oh, that's the blurry one. You start it up and when you're looking down you know, everything's fine but as soon as you start turning into that sun so we'll have a little bit less of that. Flare? I've never no steps. If you crank it up, uh, I assumed it made the sun flare bigger, but if you crank it back down, go back in, it looks the same to me. Alright, so, and then show assigned shaders. This shows you the shaders it's using. So that's the sun shafts. Big netting. Let's open that up. Uh, as soon as I click it, you'll notice the blurring around the edges of the screen in the corners. And you can intensify this or weaken it. So let's go over to the intensity. That'd be kind of cool for if my screen was actually a bit bigger. You could uh, have some sort of telescope or something like that your character's looking for. Uh, let me see. Let's turn that back down a bit. Okay, so now you want your chromatic can really warp things up with this. And the blur starts off in the corners and works its way towards the center. Probably just a little bit. Okay, let's go back up to the components, image effects. And we'll just get on the list for the rest. Uh, now I'm not sure what all these do, but we'll just run through them anyway. Lumen flares. Right away, you notice we get this little flare down here. We'll switch it over to advanced. Blur iterations. Make it. If you notice that little flare down at the bottom. So if I start it. You have that extra lens flare that comes at you. Let's go look at it through a windmill. Or at least with something in the way. Notice how it changes colors. Okay. Uh, the threshold. Go into game, see what it looks like.
Let's see if we change. Oh, we're back into simple mode. Okay, with the bloom intensity, if you notice, we started up. I only really disabled the uh, most look script on my first person controller. Just so I can actually have it running. And be able to show you as well. Alright, so let's go back to advanced. So, bloom intensity. Makes it brighter, dimmer. Iteration. Blur spread. <laughs> that looks like a lightning bolt. Threshold. Use image alpha. Okay, cast lens flare. Turn that off. It affect its intensity. The threshold mode is ghosting. Hollywood. Nine. <laughs> and then, of course, you can also adjust the colors that are being sent from it. Let's go blue and a yellow. There you go. Uh, blue specific layout, I assume. So you can pick the layer that it's on. So you can add it to the room. Okay. Then you can also select one that you don't want to add to the room. And of course, show the assigned shaders. So let's go on to the next one. Blur does exactly what it says. It really blur things out. That one's pretty easy to conceptualize. Next, color correction curves. So you can just click on one, and these are busier curves, so you can just move them around, start bending them. And you just change the, the colors in your scene. You can really get some nice effects playing around with this one. So you can select a color and start changing what they look like. But let's look at the next one. I believe the next one's the same non non curved. So it's just scripted. You can't turn around because I disabled mouse look. But that's okay. Now there's no options to play with there. Contrast enhance. Now if you notice right away, it just becomes sharper. Intensity. Threshold. 